Being vegan is, is um, I think it's a lot easier than people think, especially when you're not on the road, and I'm on the road all the time, but we went on tour with a band called Strike Anywhere, and their singer, uh, Thomas, is a really great guy, and he was vegan. And since they were the headlining band, he'd always, every day, be sharing his vegan food that he would get with me. And, you know, we just started talking about it, and every city we'd go to, he'd be like, yeah, there's this vegan restaurant. I showed me the ropes a little bit on how to be vegan on the road. And uh, that was that was it. Or since then, I've I haven't had any uh, consumed any animal products uh, knowingly uh, since then. We we went out today and we had delicious vegetarian chicken sandwiches. And I guarantee, if we, you know, grabbed 20 meat eaters off the street and said, "Do you, you want to come for lunch with us?" Didn't tell them what it was about. Said we buy them free lunch. They would not know that it wasn't real chicken. I mean, I don't know one vegetarian that's even ever went to KFC, obviously because of what they do and because they don't even provide anything extra. They really need to, you know, look at the bigger perspective. You know, if, if say half of the society weren't vegetarian, there goes half of their consumers right there. And, you know, immediately, you know, they could be out of business. Yeah. The information is key. You just have to spread the word about how the company operates and then hopefully people will be able to make more informed decisions about where they go and eat. And I think another thing is to contact KFC directly and say, look, you know, we don't, we aren't going to support you anymore if you continue to do this. You know, whoever gets the letters at KFC, if they get one letter, that might not make a difference. But if you know, you send ten letters, and like a hundred people send ten letters, you know, they're not going to be able to ignore that. And eventually, corporations are going to get scared that they're not moving forward. I think that it's just really important to to have that pressure on a company to change and to act more humanely. Personally, for me, I never really liked meat, and again, it was just my, you know, my parents' upbringing to like to serve me meat. And eventually, once I met friends and stuff that you know could survive and eat, eat quite well, you know, without meat, I, I learned how to do it. And then eventually, I just phased it out of my life. And you know, I'm happy that I was able to see you know the other side of things. I thought it was just a myth about how like dairy, like clogs you up or whatever, like it creates more phlegm, so you like actually makes you not be able to sing as well. And it's funny that tour we did with Strike Anywhere, like right after the next tour we did, I like I felt like a lot easier to breathe and just like cleaner inside. It was a really weird feeling. So I think it definitely helps me to keep my health on tour and keep my voice up. The thing that influenced me to go vegetarian was finally moving out of my parents' house on my own, you know, where it wasn't um, where I was able just to cook my own meals and do my own thing. Um, and I guess that for a lot of kids growing up, that's always the, the struggle is that your parents are from a different generation and they just don't understand what being vegetarian is all about. I love animals. Well, I don't want to eat them. One person, <laughs> be the change you want to see in the world.